Okay, guys, so today I'm gonna be doing a video on MW2 with the GTA Extended PCI. We're gonna be signing up for 1080p on the lowest settings. We have the lead. Already killing me. Enemy KIA. This is so stuttery though. It feels so it feels so laggy. Sitting between the mid 30s to low 40s with that FSR as well, obviously. So once I enable that, hopefully we can sit around 50 FPS. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, not the best performance so far, that's for sure. Yeah, it's kind of tough to play like this, I can't, I can't even lie. Um, let's go ahead and enable FSR and maybe help it out. Alright, we call it the FSR. Wow, we see a pretty massive FPS, but it's already sitting at 60 FPS now. I was expecting like 40 to 50 FPS, but... We actually hit 60 at the point. We actually hit 60 FPS at times as well. Flash, incoming. Is that a guy in the corner? I knew it, I knew there was a guy in there. Okay, game feels much better, that's for sure. We're sitting in the 50s on average if I was going to guess. And 60 FPS in those more indoor areas. Oh, I see him. I'm with you. And the Cold blooded online. And the aiming does feel a bit rough, I can't even lie. It doesn't feel very smooth at all. go. Game definitely feels more playable though. Okay, what if I use balanced FSR instead? Hmm. Not too much of an improvement. You just hit 70 FPS for the first time. But the game is still feeling a bit choppy at times. The game's quality is decent as well. Not anything special. Definitely looks far more pixelated than before. I think 900p with FSR. Maybe the switch off of this card. Our right, second game, and we're running the game at 900p without any upscaling methods, so it's running at native res. And in the last game, we were sitting at around 40 to 50 Your FPS content. at 900p, so this seems to be about the same. Oh, there we go, jumping up, jumping up into the oh, 60s now, so that previous map is definitely more intensive than the other ones, it seems like. The game is already feeling way more playable. Alright, let's see if we get any stuttering or any lag spikes like we had before. So far it's running perfectly well. Dropping 950 is when we're looking at the market, but that's normal as well. That area is super intensive on the GPU. So on average we're getting around an extra 10 FPS by just playing on this map. Compared to the previous one. I'm gonna go ahead and enable FSR again. We should be able to hit 70 FPS I would guess with this. Gonna be using the balance presets. And game does look a lot worse though, I gotta say. I liked how it looked at native res, but wow, we're sitting almost 100 FPS here. Crazy. Our counter UAV is active. Much better now. Game is stuttering crazy though. The quality doesn't look the best here as well, I gotta say. Cold blooded. I might just push it up to quality FSR instead. Because I can't Drink even see enemies anymore. <laughs> They're just a big I don't know to kill, I hit him two times in the head. Yeah, like right here, it's so hard to see anything. Confirmed. Enemy KIA. There we go, got a UAV. Game is far more playable like this. In terms of FPS and how it feels, but uh, the visibility, like I said before, is not ideal at all. Alright, now playing the game with ultra quality FSR, the game looks far, far better. Um, things actually look visible at this point, and they're not just huge blurs. What's your back? Still getting some weirdness to it. Hey, yeah, I'm good, dude. No, I'm good. There we go, get that guy as well. Thuttering it seems to have calmed down. Okay, let's get up here. I got tricked. I'm gonna get in here quickly. Okay, okay, okay. Looking down the market. Uh oh, nope. 
Give me an ammo box. Requesting recon overhead. Copy that. UAV is Watch this. Come on, as if that's not a hit. And I'm using Cordia FSR. Game does look slightly worse, to be honest. I am seeing enemies at this point. Watch this, here we go. Hmm, the game always stutters as well. As soon as you change your FSR preset, it will start to lag a little bit. That's happened multiple times at this point. I'm dead, I gotta get out of here. Okay, so I would strictly stick to the ultra quality FSR if you're gonna be playing at 900p. I'm gonna go back up to 1080p though, if you can see the performance in this map. Because that previous map was again more intensive than the current one. So we should take a look at that as well. Yeah, using FSR set to ultra quality. We are just about at 60 FPS with some dips into the 50s. Not too bad to be honest. The game looks super clear as well. It's not as fluid or as responsive as before at 100p. Because we're sitting at 70 FPS pretty much for the most part. But. Okay, hold that real quick. I need these tags for my points. There you go. I denied them. That felt fine, no stuttering or no lagging. I think at 1080p, we might be able to just play at... Hold that real quick. I think at 1080p, though, we can probably play at a lower quality FSR mode and get extra frames. Without it looking too, too bad. Go ahead and bring down FSR to... The balance mode. Nice, I got extract again, that's awesome. You know what, this does look quite good as well still. At 1080p, with balance FSR, still looks... Pretty decent. At 900 p it's just going too far. It's going to be very hard for you to see anything, basically. Alright, I'm forced to use this. Oh. I don't want to push that to be honest. Alright. They seem to be. Ready to deploy. Call the UAV in for the boys. Copy that. UAV is on station. Enemy UAV active. I know it's not perfect, obviously, because you're gonna Ready fall down one. into like the 40s and 50s in those bigger maps. But still, I think for the most part, if you can avoid those maps, just leave out the game and try to focus on the small maps, you can definitely have a good time. Have a playable experience with this. Alright, I'm playing at Farm 18, 1080p native res. We are getting 40 to 50 FPS. I got stuck, that's unlucky. I oh, love the drill charges in this game, man. Everyone's just spamming it. Oh, shotgun. Alright, uh, using Ultra Call the NIS. Getting 50, almost 60 FPS. Game does look amazing, though. I gotta say, this does look very nice. But I think you'll get far better performance. This is, they got a base set up in there. What is going on? Now, comparing the same results with FSR, I'm using the quality, Ultra Quality preset. Getting 66 FPS, basically 60 FPS. We had a bunch of dips into the 50s with NIS. It does happen with FSR still, but it's not as common on this map. Come on, die. How are you still alive? It's on fire. Man. I gotta make sure I take this down. There we go, it's finally taken down. Alright, here's a bit of Granville performance as well. Playing a game at 1080p with FSR set to quality, I believe. Quality FSR, 1080p as well. And we're getting pretty good performance still. Still holding 60 FPS in this spawn area. It's obviously not really have to render too much, but I think once I get it going and push up to the middle of the map, we should get some FPS drops. There we go, dropping that into the 
still 60 pretty much. We were in the high 50s for a bit, but 59 FPS is very close to 60 anyway, so. Can't really complain about that. There we go, mid 50s now. And the clarity is definitely a big factor here because it's going to be very hard for you to see enemies at a distance. Whereas in 6v6, it's not really an issue. It's honestly doing a pretty good job with how it's running this map. I was expecting far worse performance, but the lowest I've seen it hit is around the mid 50s. That's respectable, to be honest. On average, we're holding around 60 FPS. Obviously, each map is different. It could be there'll be far more intensive maps. There we go. Invasion, we are hitting as low as 50 FPS. 48 FPS, there we go. This is definitely far more intensive compared to that Gramble map we had. Makes sense, this one's far more open. As soon as we hit the high 40s, that's when the game starts feeling very laggy. At 55 FPS, it still feels fine to be honest. But uh, again, once you drop into the 40s, I'm dead. Alright, I think that's it for the video, guys. We made it this far. Appreciate you, and as always, if you like what you see, then a like and a sub to the channel, I appreciate it as well. See you next time.